Welcome back to Early Riser Workshop. You know, with all things clay and pottery, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I see that through these videos, I'm gonna be repeating a couple of things over and over again. So I'm gonna spare you that on future projects. So the project I'm starting today is gonna to require some clay. And on a basic note, we need to wedge or knead the clay. So this video is about wedging and kneading. When I'm ready to throw a pot, I need to have a ball of clay that's already kneaded and wedged to have an even consistency like these. But to get there from a bag of clay, we need to take the amount of clay that we think we'll need. And I've learned that there's more than one way to knead clay did a little research looking at other potters and how they do it and I found out there's two methods. There's what I've been doing which is called a spiral wedge and by pushing sideways down and in I'm creating a scoop and a pattern like, like a seashell and by doing this and turning it every time and rolling it over I start to push any air out of the clay. Now this is what I was taught way back when and what I'm comfortable and used to doing. And the results are what can be expected with a nice, in fact, there's some clay separating right there, a nice ball of clay. But there's another way to wedge or to knead the clay and that by taking both sides of the clay and pushing in and out, giving it a twist as you go. That is gonna take more practice for me, but doing it this way, you still end up with forcing the air bubbles out of the clay from the middle and you're collapsing the clay in on itself. All right, you're gonna to wanna to continue wedging until you feel like you've got all the bubbles out. And then put a little less pressure on a couple of strokes. And then you end up with a ball that you can shape ready for throwing. Now, my next project, I'm not gonna use all of this clay so I'm going to cut this into three equal balls, somewhat equal balls. And the easiest way I know to do that is to just kind of elongate the clay before cutting it. And this will also tell me when I cut it if I've got my air bubbles out. So here, I want about a third. And there, you can see I did a pretty good job. There as well, and there as well. Now I'm ready for my project.